So the fourth area isn't so bad, but there's a part at the end that can instantly unalive you if you're not fast enough. First, we start at Hangar 1 and the whole point of the level is to reach Hangar 17. In Area 4, you can take multiple paths to Hangar 17, but in this video, I will show you what path I feel is the easiest route to take. After the fight with the android from Area 3, it's time to recover our health. Make sure to grab the full pizza with everyone who needs it by making it respawn. Now once you get all the turtles health restored, it's time to move on and proceed to Hangar 2. Take out the boomerang man and collect the rope item from the top level. We've taken a bit of damage here, but no worries. Now let's head to the left. At the end, jump to the higher level and climb the ladder. Take out the flying insect-like enemies and head to the right. Watch out for the boomerang guy here and get ready to use the rope item. The turtles will automatically use the rope once you reach this point. This is the only section that a rope is mandatory to pass and you only need three. Once that's done, continue to the right and make sure to grab half of the pizza before going down the ladder. Now we need to head to the left. Take out the boomerang guy, then make a break for it from the robots. This is the last section of Hangar 1. We need to head right and exit through the door. There's only one path to take here. Head for the manhole near the top of the screen. Go to the right. Take out the various booby traps and enemies who fight you. This hangar is not difficult. Just make sure to keep your distance from the boomerang men. Also, it's possible to hit them with Donatello's bow when facing the other way. Once you reach this point, you will face a mini boss version of the boomerang guy. You know, I never understood the point of these mini boss fights in this game, but oh well, let's continue. This is the final stretch of Hangar 2. Continue to take out the waves of traps and enemies as you head to the right. Otherwise, there's really not much going on here. When you reach the end, climb the ladder back up to the overworld. From here, there's two manholes to choose from. Let's go with Hangar 3, so choose the top manhole. Take out all enemies first, then drop down to the conveyor belts. You can simply walk across without falling into the spikes below. Go to the left. It's a bit of a walk and enter this manhole for Hangar 6. Okay, 
So hand assist can be a bit of a pain. Take out the boomerang dude from above, then go to the right. We have to make sure that we pay attention to the arrows on the conveyor belt. This hanger is a bit of a death trap, so swap turtles if you must. Admittedly, I played carelessly here, but nevertheless, we will make it through. As bad as falling into the spikes are, falling into fire is much worse as you will be instantly unalive if that happens. Now we need to go around this wall and to the left to reach the manhole, which takes you to Hangar 8. Okay, in here, we don't need to fight the boomerang man, it's unnecessary. Just take out the bug enemy and head for the exit. We need to head for the manhole near the top of the screen to reach Hangar 9. I honestly feel like this is the safest route to take. Hangar 9 is just a short passage. Take out the boomerang dude and be on your way. This area is massive, so we need to head up and all the way to the right in order to reach Hangar 12. And correct me if I'm mistaken, but I believe you can rescue a captured turtle in Hangar 13. Also. Be mindful of the stealth bombers as they can drop bombs on top of you. This hangar is a death trap of spikes. First of all, we have to take care of the flying enemies and the laser traps. And as with all areas with spikes, do your best not to fall in them. Once again, we have to be mindful of the conveyor belt direction as we move to the right. The good news about this section is that there's a full piece near the end so we can use the manhole at the end of this hangar as a respawning point for the pizza to recover our health. Once that's completed, head over to the southern manhole to start Hangar 15. This hangar has spikes and laser traps all the same, but the main thing to be on the lookout for is the fire trap at the end of this section. Remember, we have one chance to do the jump correct or we will lose the turtle on the spot. Also, there's like two laser traps mounted on the wall at the opposite end. So we have to be mindful of those as well since they can blast you into the fire. That full piece is not worth it in my opinion. It's best to keep moving. Now make this jump over the fire and hurry up the ladder. That was close. Back in the overworld, head up and to the right to reach Hangar 16. There's an invincibility item and a half a pizza there. Use Hangar 16 to replenish your health by respawning pizza. Now go to the topmost manhole to finally reach Hangar 17. Mm -hmm. 
This is absolutely the most diabolical hangar of them all. It's not because of enemies or lasers. Hell, not even the boss poses a threat. It's due from that dev trout right before the boss fight. Once you've taken out the boomerang man, go to the right. Jump on the conveyor belt and be mindful of the spikes on the ceiling. Take out all enemies, then jump down and drop through the narrow hole in the floor. Collect the pizza slice and go down the second hole. Now before you do, you must understand that this next drop will start the death trap, meaning that the walls will try to crush you. Now, you can avoid getting crushed by stopping on the dime while over the narrow hole to drop, but you only have one or two tries to get it right before being instantly unalive. Go down as fast as you can. Ignore the pizza and keep heading down. Phew. Now that that's over, it's time for a boss fight. Make sure to use Don for this fight. This boss will stay stationary the whole fight. Every few seconds or so, it will spit out Mausers to attack the turtles and it will shoot lasers from its eyes. To defeat him, stand in the middle and right underneath the Mauser. Now keep doing an upward strike to hit the circular bulb in his mouth. Do this for the entire fight until it's defeated. 